This is The Sim Pit. I'm your host, Sean Cole, but the real star of today's show is Next Level Racing. Now, as you know, last week I got a chance to go to E3, and it was an incredible trade show. But one of the highlights of the show really was being able to go to the Next Level Racing booth. When I was there, I got a chance to talk to Hess, the founder and CEO of Next Level Racing. This included talking about some of their existing products, ones that I'm actually testing, like the Motion Platform V3 or the Wheel Stand Lite. In addition to that, Hess showed me some of the changes that have been made to the F1 GT chassis, and I actually sat down, took a drive, and was able to see those changes. But the real big news, or the real big story out of Next Level Racing, was a rig that we've never seen before, and it was being debuted at E3, and I was one of the first ones to get to drive it, and I'm going to tell you a little bit about it. Now this new rig, never before seen, is the GT Track. The GT Track is a serious pro sim racer level rig that might just be taking Next Level to, well, the next level. Now the GT Track has some features about it that sim racers are really going to enjoy in its design. For starters, it is solid and stable and has a ton of adjustments to tune it to your needs. The GT Track is a full sim rig and comes with a chassis, a seat, seat belts, a shifter and handbrake mount, and a butt kicker mount all included for $8.99 delivered to your door in the US or 799 euro delivered anywhere in Europe. That's delivered pricing and it'll be available in August. Now when I looked at or started to inspect the GT track rig, I liked a few of the features that I could see and I could see adjustments that could be made all over the rig. The seat mounts could be moved forward and back. The shifter mount as well. The pedal deck was movable forward and rearward, and then also adjustable in angle. And then the wheel deck had a ton of up and down adjustment with a dual post telescoping design that locked down in place through drilled holes and bolts holding it down. And then the wheel deck was also adjustable in angle. And then to top it off, the entire rig was pre-drilled to accommodate Thrustmaster, Fanatic, and Logitech equipment. Its pedal area is large enough for any pedal set and seems to be very rigid in its design. The wheel deck, also rigid, seems like it would be strong enough for most direct drive wheels. The seat itself is also very nice. It was well cushioned and can be reclined independently for maximum driving position and then it has a cool embroidered GT Track logo on the back. In addition to that, it is built to accommodate the Next Level Racing Motion Platform, which can be installed in as little as 10 minutes. On paper, or from the looks of it, it's a very serious rig. It's a full-blown, hardcore sim racing rig. When most of the products from Next Level Racing up till now have been convertible, or adaptable, or wheel stands, or modular in some capacity, this is the first purpose-built, full-blown sim rig coming out of Next Level Racing. I got a brief chance to drive the GT Track. It was set up with the motion platform and it had a side seat that would add motion for a passenger. In my driving, I was able to move the seat forward, recline the seat just a little bit, and I got fairly comfortable. It was set up with a Thrustmaster TSPC racer wheel and pedals and everything fit just right. With the motion, there is plenty going on to test the rigidity of the sim chassis and it was delivering a reliable, shake-free driving position. Considering that I just jumped in and adjusted the seat, I was able to get in a pretty good driving position, enough to verify that when I get this rig in my hands, I'll be able to make it absolutely perfect. So at a trade show, things are very limited in that the amount of time that you get to drive or experience various different products, the amount of tunability or getting it set up just the way you want or expect it to be. So it can be a little hard to get a very good impression of things. On top of that, E3 is probably one of the most distracting places that you're ever going to be, and that doesn't help really formulate your opinion. But in a short time, I could tell this was a very nice rig. A rig that I want to spend more time with and see how well it does under my control and perfectly adjusted for me. 
So this really was just a sneak peek or a first look at the GT track by Next Level Racing. I can't wait to get one here in the studio to really hammer on it, really test it and give you a full solid opinion, but at least you know it's coming. $8.99 delivered to your door in the United States, $7.99 Euro delivered anywhere in Europe available in August. That's fantastic. And again, I can't wait to get one here. So that's going to do it. I hope you enjoyed the sneak peek or first look. And as soon as we get one, we'll give you all the details about it. This is The Sim Pit. I'm Sean Cole, and I'll see you on the track.